It was supposed to be a fun sleepover with friends, but Ezra Haynes never came home, dead at 13, after inhaling chemicals from deodorant. It's called chroming, and too many teenagers are chasing the quick high. Kids think they're invincible. They need to listen to Ezra's family. Our youngest daughter's been taken. Cherish her every moment. Andrea, she sounds like she was a bit of a bright light. Oh, she was amazing. She was beautiful. Um, she was cheeky, mm. but she just had the most fullest heart. What were her dreams? Mm. What did she want to, to do in this world? She loved music, she loved sport. <laughs> I think the world was her oyster. So in that split second, mm -hmm. your entire world changed? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Our mm -hmm. gut was ripped out. Yeah, this has rocked our world. <laughs> Do you need yeah. a minute, Andrea? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> a minute. Ezra was just 13. <laughs> a little cheeky and adored by her mum and dad, Andrea and Paul. Like any teenager, she loved a sleepover with her friends. That Friday, March 31, you would have woke up thinking it was just like any other day. Yeah, just a normal day. Bus routine, school routine, everything mm. was good. We had tra footy training that night. I drove Ezra. Um, she was having an awards night as well. She got co-captain. She was named co-captain of the under-14s footy club. Yeah, and we just regular routine of going to hang out with her mates. She heads off to a friend's place yeah. for a sleepover. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's so innocent. That's yeah. so fun. Yes. And they always did it. Nothing was unusual about that. Well, we always knew where she was and we knew exactly. who she was with. Mm. It wasn't anything exactly. out of the ordinary. To get this phone call that time at night was, was one of them calls you no parent ever wants to, to have to receive. And, and we unfortunately got that call, mm. come and get your daughter. At first, Ezra's friends thought she was having a panic attack. But after inhaling deodorant, her body was actually starting to shut down she was in cardiac arrest and no one at the sleepover knew CPR. So Andrea arrived there to ambulance, paramedics, police officers and Esther on the ground in the, in the, the being worked on. So I walked into what is going on. We've got the pictures in our mind which will never be erased, you know, mm. of, of what we were confronted with. Had the word chroming been mentioned at this point? No. So they talked about, is she on any medication? I said no, and they said it's chroming, she's been chroming. And I'm like, what's that? <laughs> You'd never heard of it before? No. No. Had no idea that she'd been Absolutely doing it? Absolutely not. No. Chroming is a dangerous craze, increasingly popular with teens. Aerosol deodorant, which can be found on any supermarket shelf, inhaled for a quick high. For Ezra, that high was fatal. Watching the ambulance take off with your little girl in it, was there still hope at that point that she'd pull through? We still had hope. Mm. And, and we did not think the worst. We were trying mm. to be positive. We thought we'd bring her home. When did you realise she wasn't going to make it? When we got the actual call to, from the doctor again to say this is not good. So they'd done the brain scans on her and they'd found that um, her brain was um, damaged beyond mm. repair. So we had to have the decision to turn off the machines. That was a week after the incident. Mm. Yeah. You're reliving that right now, aren't you, Andrea? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. 
a very, very hard day. They're asking us to bring our family and friends to say goodbye to our 13-year-old daughter. It was a very, very difficult thing to do for such a young soul. She was put onto a bed so we could lay with her. We cuddled her until the end. Eight days on life support. It's traumatic to hear and even more so to see. But Ezra's family wants other kids to look at these confronting photos and think. And this is the bit that the kids need to hear. This is the, this is the bit that mm -hmm. your actions, you think it's harmless, what it can do to those closest to you, your family mm -hmm. and your friends, mm -hmm. for that brief high, mm -hmm. it yes. devastates everyone's lives. Everything. Because it was our last time to hug our baby girl. <laughs> You know. I'm just so sorry. We miss everything, don't we? Yeah, we do, definitely do. Ezra was the youngest of four. Sister Imogen was like a second mum. And big brothers, Seth and Charlie, her protectors. It's pretty heavy, guys. Yeah. It is. Getting the phone call from mum and having to wake dad up and me yeah. drive me old man down there was, yeah, yeah, I'll never forget it. And Charlie, he was just out on a normal night like you do at a friend's party and then yeah, he gets party. that call. How are we all holding up? Just taking it day by day, I guess. It's, people don't realise how hard it actually is, mm. I don't think, until you've been through it. Especially mm. seeing the scene, like yeah. it's, like the image, yeah, it will never go man, out of my head. That's probably the hardest thing for me at the moment, is that. Yeah. Just all, all the images. <laughs> I grew up to. a lot in a week, like I just had to deal with it. She was beautiful, just everything about her was perfect. You have moments here where you still expect her to come running around the corner. And All the time. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Bloody chroming. Did you know she was doing it? No. No, no idea. Do we need to scare children mm. to make them realise the trail of destruction that can be mm. left behind? I mean, they're teenagers, right? They just don't think of the possible consequences. Mm. Absolutely not. Kids don't look beyond the next day. They really don't. And, and especially, like, we're not knowing mm. how it can affect them. Ezra would never have done this if she would have known the consequences. But the ripple effect is that this is absolutely devastating. We've got no child to bring home or anything. Mm. Ezra was with a bunch of friends that night. It could have been any of them. Exactly. Yeah. I feel the last generation had Anna Wood and I still remember her smiling face in her school uniform. She died after taking an ecstasy tablet. Yeah, yeah I remember that one and, as well. And she was the warning mm -hmm. about drugs. Mm -hmm. And I feel, and I hate to say it, I feel Ezra is that new image of this new danger. Yeah. Yes. We need to talk about it. And yeah, unfortunately, mm -hmm. Ezra has been now the, the new face to bring this out. All they have of Ezra now are the memories. Last game of football was where Ezra kicked a few goals. Six goals, I think. Mm. She was the star of the day. Yes. Ezra's family want change. They believe she saw chroming on social media. They're outraged it's so accessible. They want every child to learn CPR at school, something that may have saved Ezra's life. And they also want deodorant formulas made safer. To me, it seems a, it's a pistol sitting on the shelf. We need mm. the manufacturers to step up and really change the formulation or the propellants. Mm. When will you be able to sit back and go, we've done our job, mm. we've done what we set out mm. to do? Once aerosols have been changed, and I think once the first day of training has been implemented through nationally, through every school, and that every child is trained every two years, mm. um, 
and also we would like, I know it's a harder push, but the social media to really lock down on, on the loopholes these kids can get get onto there, be showing adult content. You're doing it for Ezra. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Clouded by grief, this family is determined to save others and to make sure Ezra's name is never forgotten. Do you think she'd be proud of you for it? Well, we know she is. We she's with us every day, so her name meant helper. Um, so that's what we're here to do. Well, Ezra would never have done this if she'd known the consequences. That's what a dad said and that's what will hopefully stick with every family tonight. Please have the conversation with your kids. It took so much strength for this amazing family to speak to six weeks after losing their gorgeous Ezra. I want to thank them for their courage. <laughs>